This is our chop bone removal trick that my family come up with. You take two chop, put them on a dinner plate, and you put them in the microwave for 50 seconds to a minute per side, depending on how strong your microwave is. Now, after you do 50 seconds to a minute per side, you take them out and the heads will pull right off of them. Okay, now you only got to make one cut. You take your knife and cut down the center of the backbone all the way down. Just like that. Okay. Now you'll know if you didn't go far enough in the microwave long enough or you'll know if you didn't go too far because if you pull the main bone here, the spine bone, and it falls apart that means you went too long. Now, what you want to do is take the spine bone where you pulled the head off and this will peel right off. So I guess the flays will completely separate. You can take the skin off or leave it on. Just so like that. The skin peel right off and then watch, here's how you take it off. Here's the bone, peels right off, just like that. Just like a whole entire rib cage. And then you end up with two perfect flays with no bones in it. Now, you take up here's a bone up left from the up by the head and take that off. Here's some of the fins. Pull them off. And then you end up with two flays. And like I said, if you want to leave the skin on, leave it on, or you can take the skin and the skin peels right off of the fish. Now you end up with one fillet and then take this side and it's the same thing. Just peel the fin off. It's like that. And I got a couple bones in it. A couple bones up here left by the gills and the fin. And a fin down here. They just pinch right off. And then there again, if you want to take the skin on, leave it on. If you want to take it off, take it off. Just peel it right off just like that. So you end up with two perfect fillets just like this no bones no flaying and leaving all the meat on the bone just like that okay I'll do this one is there again peel the head right off take your knife cut down just one cut right down to the center of the backbone you'll feel it once you cut down it's not really that critical of a cut just the separate the second flage. You can actually feel it hitting off the tip of the knife, the bone. And peel this stuff off. Just take the main spine bone there where he took his head off and just peel it right back. Just like that. Okay? And then you take this and this will peel right off of this flay. Just grab that main spine bone and peel right back. Just like that. It'll peel right off. And you do lose a couple pieces if it got a little over done in the microwave. Then you know to back off on the time in the microwave. You can go a little bit less in time, you know, so that uh, it doesn't fall apart. If it's falling apart, you went too long. If it isn't peeling off the bone, then you gotta go longer. Just peel the skin off, take the fins off, and you end up with two good fillets like that. And same as this side. Peel that fin off. Take the dorsal fin off. Flip it over. And you can take the skin off there. Just like that. Simple. My family's been doing this since the early 80s. And this is the only way we've ever done trout. Ever. And that's it. There's your trout bone removal trick.